What's going on, Bottom Line viewers? It's Mitch here of the Bottom Line View, here to break down the signing of Malcolm Butler going to the Tennessee Titans. Five years, $61 million. Malcolm Butler is signing a huge contract to go play for the Tennessee Titans, reuniting with his buddy and form, former Patriot as well, Logan Ryan, corner that will be playing alongside Malcolm Butler. He's also joining Deion Lewis, former running back of the New England Patriots, his teammate of last year as well, who also signed with the Tennessee Titans. The Titans, Mike Vrabel, former Patriot. They have a lot of Patriot ties. They're seemingly creating a mini Patriot program there in Tennessee. And I really like the direction that Tennessee is bringing. That's not only because I'm a Patriots fan, but I like what Mike Vrabel is doing. He's signing players that he knows will expect the way that this program is going to be run. It's going to be run very similarly to the way that Bill Belichick has run his program in New England with some few twists of Mike Vrabel's variety. But I feel like Mike Vrabel wanted to bring in players that he knows can fit in that system and can also reach out to his their teammates and sort of make them buy into what Mike Vrabel is going to sell them. So I think from not only a, a on-field perspective, this is a good signing from an off-field perspective. From an on-field perspective, you're talking about Malcolm Butler being paid as the 10th best corner in the NFL. That's pretty good. Usually in free agency, you would have to probably overpay a little bit more. Malcolm Butler was definitely not a top 10 corner last year. He definitely took a step back. Now, the season before, he definitely was. In 2016 and 2015, I would say he was a top 10 corner in the NFL, for sure. In 2017, he took a step back. He wasn't even the best corner on his team. Stephon Gilmore was definitely better than him. But Malcolm Butler has shown promise and has shown the ability. He is 27 years old, so he still has time to get back to that top 10 corner. Um, and he's still in his prime right now. So... Given a few switches in scheme, given a little bit more confidence, I thought he was a little bit down on himself last year. Uh, maybe just bouncing back and having a better season. We don't really know if he had any injuries or whatever. So I, I think Malcolm Butler can definitely get back to being a top 10 corner and bring that edge and bring that aggressiveness to the Tennessee Titans and be worth this contract for sure. But I feel like a lot of the times with a guy like Malcolm Butler who has the potential to be the way that he the way that he can play, you usually have to overpay. Um, and I really don't think that the Titans overpaid that much uh, for Malcolm Butler. I think this was a fairly fair contract considering I think Logan Ryan was only a little bit less from what they signed him last year, which I would consider probably a worse contract, even though I think Logan Ryan is a good player. Um, you're, you're making your secondary formidable. That was still the biggest weakness of Tennessee last year was their corner play, was their secondary play. And now you have three pretty good corners. You have Malcolm Butler and Logan Ryan, which was the tandem that won the Patriots the Super Bowl in 2016. You also have a Dory Jackson, who was a high draft pick last year, and he could potentially play slot corner, or you could move Logan Ryan inside. And you have a lot of scheme versatility with those three guys. Um, so I think this is a really good move, and this just allows Tennessee to do that much more on defense. It allows them to play a little bit more man-to-man -man coverage, allows their pass rushers to get after it a little bit more, and it's going to be interesting to see what Mike Vrabel does with these chess pieces now with three pretty capable corners and a pretty good front seven as well. The Titans should be an underrated defense going into next season because of the signing of Malcolm Butler and what it allows them to do. So if I'm a Titans fan, I'm pretty excited about my defense going into next year. I still think that they need to do some things on offense, but that's a different conversation for a different day. Um, I think that the Titans are definitely making some good moves in free agency right now, and I would say Malcolm Butler has been one of those good moves. And I would say this is a good move for Tennessee to uh, sure up their secondary and really create stability there and create scheme versatility. So I like this signing from Tennessee's perspective. Mike Vrabel and the GM in Tennessee have been doing a good job, and I think that the Tennessee Titans have definitely gotten better so far this free agency. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Malcolm Butler signing with the Titans, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and peace out.